Hello Bible Adventurers! We are so happy you're back! As a Bible Adventurers, today we are going on another trip. Yes! Do we have everything we need? Yes, we are ready! We have a map, transportation, and a guide! Woohoo! Perfect! Now, let's look at the map where we are going today. Look! Our route today is for East, the Jordan River. Awesome! Over there is the Quirit Cave that is mentioned in the Bible. That's when Elijah is the protagonist. You hear this? The story of Elijah and the ravens. He was a brave prophet of God. That is true. You see, friends, when God gave us a word and tell us we have to spread it, it's very important to do it. It's a prize, by the way. It's a liberty. God works in a mysterious way. Molly, I'm so excited to know everything about the story. Martin, we are ready? Friends, are you ready too? Time to go. Let's call our guides, Liffy and Daisy. Yes. Liffy! Daisy! We are ready! Hello, Bible Adventurers. Welcome back to another trip. Hello, everybody. We are so excited to see you. Are we ready to start? Come with us. Martin mentioned earlier that they're going to the place where Elijah used to live. Since they're on their way, let's talk about him. Elijah was one of God's prophets, but was persecuted by the king of that time. In 1 Kings 17-19 through and 2 Kings 1-2, through we are told that the king Ahab and queen Jezebel praised another god, so Elijah challenged them to prove if their god existed or not. He said whichever god poured fire from the sky first was the true god. Of course, the queen and king failed, so they began to persecute all of God's prophets. They wanted to capture all of the Christian prophets and only keep the king's prophets. So to stay safe, Elijah had to run away and hide. Of course, he was away from everyone and he had to survive alone somehow. So wherever he was hiding, God would send crows with food for him to last all that time alone. Although it sounds lonely, he was never alone. The crows would not only send Elijah food, but they were also a physical reminder that God never left him. I'm sure that all of us have had tough and lonely times. But remember, you're never alone. God is there. He has never left your side. Maybe he might not send you crows physically, but he's just a prayer away. Whenever you feel lonely, pray. God is listening. Remember that we'll protect you and stay by your side always. And he'll never leave you alone either. Thanks, Leafy and Daisy, for being our guides in the new adventure. What a amazing story. Be obedient if God gives you a word for someone. If you know someone who is having a rough time and you feel in your heart to encourage them with something special, do it. That's God letting you know that they need some words, so follow your heart. Hey, Leafy, can you help us with today's verse, please? Yes, Martin. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, it is He who goes with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you. Thank you, Leafy. Let's be willing to give the word of God to others who need it. It's what we're commanded in the Bible too. I'm in the air in a hot air balloon. I see so many things in the beautiful sky. There are animals, mountains, trees, lakes, and a lot of other things. We have a lot to discover in our hot air balloon. We are adventurers. Be good adventurers. Enjoy the trip with us. With us. We are adventurers. Be good adventurers. Enjoy the trip with us, with us. I'm in the air in a hot air balloon. I see so many things in the beautiful sky. It's amazing when you see life a creation from the Word of God. We have a lot to discover in a hot air balloon. We are adventurers. Be good adventurers. Enjoy the trip with us, with us. We are adventurers. Be good. 
good adventurers. Enjoy the trip with us, with us. I'm in the air in a hot air balloon. I see so many things in the beautiful sky. There are animals, mountains, trees, lakes, and a lot of other things. We have a lot to discover in a hot air balloon. We are an adventurers. Be good adventurers. Enjoy the trip with us. With us. We are an adventurers. Be good adventurers. Enjoy the trip with us. With us. Thank you, adventurers, for singing with us. It's really fun looking from the air to the nature of God. Amazing! Let's see if we can remember what we learned. Daisy, time for a pop quiz! Who was persecuted? A. The Israelites B. Jesus or C. Elijah The answer is C. Elijah Who provided Elijah what he needed to survive? A. The king B. God or C. The rivers The answer is B. God What brought Elijah food? A. Quails B. Doves or C. Crows The answer is C. Crows. What should we do when we feel lonely? A. Pray B. Go outside or C. Sleep The answer is A. Pray Last question. What verse can we use to remember today's story? A. Deuteronomy 31.6 B. Job 5.6 Or C. John 4.10 The answer is A. Deuteronomy 31.6 I did it great on the quiz today! Good job! It feels awesome when you learn something new. Uh oh, mm, our time is up. We have to go now. Yes, Martin, it's time to go. But before we leave, let's give God a prayer. Repeat the prayer with us. Dear God, thank you for your amazing love. Thanks for being with us when we are alone. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We had a great time with you. Yes, every day we work hard to be the best Bible adventure. As we travel with the Word of God, we are able to see different things that will help us to grow in faith. Let's start the process and have fun. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. We'll see you in our next trip. Remember, whatever God puts on your heart, speak it. <laughs>